Good kitten internet. Alright. Item use cotton balloon. Whee! And we are now in floor world. Cotton balloons are gone. The cotton balloon popped. So, this is where we have our caravan with a little stage made of matchsticks. Here's a priest, because there's always a priest for some reason. Hmm. Hold on a moment. I just thought of a weird thing. I'm going to load state. What happens if I egress? From floor world? Is it actually... So I know if you egress before... Like, when we first landed in Parmesia, if you egress then, you'll actually find a um, chaplain on the ship. Nothing happens. Interesting. Ugh. It's too heavy, I can't lift it. I give up. You have to trigger this in order to get that ring. You must do this, because otherwise that ring is gone forever. You never know about it. Even though you can't do anything with it right now. You have to become big again. And it's also one of the best accessories in the game. You want to see Creed? Are you serious? A hole in the wall leads to Creed, but don't use it. <clears throat> Ooh, that voice hurt. We came down here to escape, but the devils live in the tunnel. They're too ferocious. I'm going to stay in floor. So the four people that have portraits are the ones that we're going to be offered to have as characters. But only one of them. We actually have to come back later for the other three. So that's going to be the big decision at the end of this video, most likely, is which one to take. The way I'm going to do this is that I'm going to take each of them and use save states to restore, because normally you know what class each of them are. I don't believe the game's going to tell me. I think the game's going to try to say that they're the classes that they are in Shining Force 2. So the only way I can actually know is by taking them and then reloading the save state. Again, I only get to keep one temporarily. I'll eventually be able to come back and get the rest, but... That's a while away. Just love how there's just... We left us up to England long ago. Randolph is a brave leader. We trust him. Randolph is in all caps, which means it's a character. Uh, told you, we need to find the character time somewhere. No, um... Yeah, that's Randolph. So each of these characters are generally the best of their respective classes in normal Shining Force 2. So for instance, this is uh, Tyrin. Tyrin is the best wizard in the game. Tyrin is basically um, Jaha in our current game. So he has Blaze, Freeze, and Bolt. It's just he doesn't have boost, he has Sleep instead. So Jaha is strictly better than normal Shining Force 2 Tyrin. Uh, Randolph is the best warrior in the game because he has the highest attack, which means that he makes a great baron. Um, Karna, who was the non-centaur upstairs, is the best healer in the game, sort of, um, because she actually has both he uh, she has heal, boost, and aura, and blast. But who nobody cares about blast. Um, and finally, the centaur, as I previously mentioned. Uh, Eric. Eric has the highest attack for the centaurs in the game. So he's the best centaur. I'm trying to remember if there was... Is there any mithril in here? I don't think there is. But I'm going to double check just because... Um, Because this is a one-time thing. 
Where's the mithril at? Item mithril locations. Do, 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 do. I was right about the um, mithril outside of Creed's mansion, by the way. And no, there isn't one in here. I just must have missed it by like one square or something like that. All right. <laughs> smells like a ditch. See, I don't understand that. I'm assuming they meant like, um, whatchamacallit, sewer, open sewer type of thing. Is this the smell of the devils they were talking about? <laughs> what huge rats! Welcome! It's dinner time! Alright, so weird thing about this battle is that we encounter rats and bubbling oozes. Remember the bubbling ooze from the um, secret elven stage? Bubbling oozes will also encounter outside of this place, which means that they're both tiny and huge. I think we might also encounter rats outside of this place, but we have a boss, it's Willard. And yes, that is in fact a reference. Willard has 77 attack. Rats have 70, bubbling oozes have 58. So we need to be especially careful of those rats. They will kill our archers dead. It's boosting time. Oh. oh, and I haven't updated the spreadsheet yet. That's why I'm not even bothering to show. Whoops, did not actually mean to fast forward that far. Um, yeah. So yeah, like I said, we have to be really careful about those rats. Also, the rats have six movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they can hit that diagonal. So we don't exactly have much in the way of safe space to go. There is differing types of terrain, which is helpful. So I can really use the extra land effect right about now. Probably should have passed the Protect Ring to somebody else than Jaha. I don't need to do the bait strategy anymore. So, general strategy for this battle is to keep our archers boxed in. That is, not let them be exposed to the outside world if we can at all help it. Okay, he moved one step. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. In theory, could attack Sarah. I, yeah, I can attack Sarah. That's fine. We want to be behind that line. There's no mages here, so we don't have to worry about being in that type of formation. Bubbling oozes sort of count as mages? Uh, you'll see what I mean when they actually attack. Let's actually see who's boosted. You're boosted. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. You are. So I can get two. Oh wait, no, I want him to be bait. Right, never mind. I'm just too used to having mages be the low defense ones, not high defense plants. Is this still two? No, okay, it's three. Good. Ah, 
Uh, I gained decent XP. I'm actually getting really good XP if you're not noticing. Uh, that's because the game kind of makes itself easier at this point of the game. Now, puppy. You're dead. Probably. So basically, now that we've defeated Chessboard, we're in a lull. Game, the game should be getting easier at this point for a while. Um, we have a while before we hit the next major difficult battle. And again, Chessboard's basically the hardest battle in the game. So the next major difficult battle is the next major boss, to my knowledge. Uh, others might disagree with that statement now that I think about it. Oh. Ooze. I should have gone around to the side. Ooh, two attacks. Nice. Good job, Luke. HP, attack, defense, agility. I'm going to promote him to ninja soon, but not quite yet. No. Okay, May is in danger, but May's boosted at the moment. Kazin's also in danger, but I'm at least attacking the correct target now. Ooh, nice hit. I guess those rats don't really have much in the way of defense. HP 2, defense 1, agility 2. No attack bonus again. This constantly happens. Um, Kiwi, I actually don't have anything to do for you, so just go ahead and waste a heal. Kiwi's level 33. HP 2, MP 2, attack 2, defense 1, agility 2. What the hell is that level up? Okay, I'm not... Okay. That's weird, but sure. How, how far away am I from the other... Okay, I'm far enough away. I only have to worry about this rat. Alright, pretty much anything can kill it at this point. Assuming it's going to go before I can kill it. Because the other rats are going now. Oh, no. No. Chester for the kill. Nice. Please tell me Chester levels up with some attack. HP 1. Attack 1. Thank you. Defense 1. Agility 1. Really? Bow Knights? All I care about is attack. The higher the attack, the better. I'm a little concerned. Just letting Rick know about the glitch for um, the Brass Gunner. Oh, that's not the group I wanted to hit, but that's okay. Is he even doing anything? Yeah, I hit one. Definitely activate them. I was in range of a rat. Ow. Uh, 
Okay, this might have been a terrible plan. Bunt. I really like the... Um, they actually have a name for it. What is it called? It's like the... Um, Battle theme of experience, I think is what it's called. You leveling up yet? No. I need to kill somebody. Slice. Uh, can't reach. Can't reach. Cool. You're just saying, oh, I shouldn't have put him there. Um, you're just going to stand there. I can definitely take out that rat. I have enough archers. And thieves. One. Really? One hit point left? I'm gonna have to rely on healing. Slice. Need to keep my front line up. And, yeah, this is painful. Yep, looks like we're gonna snip. You're dead. I'm not. Tee hee. Uh oh. Okay, at least attack's going up on May now. Ugh. The no attack up is painful on an archer. And that's common. Really common. Okay. Because then you're going to sit there. The oozes aren't as scary as the rats. You're going to brass gun that one. What are you doing, cat? Attack increase by one. Defense by three? Nice. You're the other one that needed healing. Just gonna heal one. Doesn't hit as hard, still hits for 22 unboosted. And you're gonna attack Bowie, who's going to take more damage. Oh, bubble breath. So this is the spell-like thing that they can do. So that will always do 15-ish damage. Unless if you're resistant to water, which no PC is. Thump. Putting him in range to be healed. Slice. Dow. I just remember seeing what that was like the first time I saw a sorcerer, which was my second time playing the game, oddly enough. I didn't ever... I found the secret book, but I had already promoted Kazin by then, and Kazin promoted as a wizard is terrible, and that's the only wizard I had. I didn't choose the wizard at um, this place. I chose somebody else. Um, if I stand here, I should be bait for a rat. Ooh, I might be a bait for two rats. That's not what I want to do. Oh, well. 
Um... Okay, Kazin needs healing more than Bowie does. Yeah, he's down 24. Bloop. Thief, go stabby. Stabby. Oh, still up. Getting a little unbalanced, but I think it's better than letting it live. Also, I'm still getting 49 XP from everything, so... The unbalance is probably not that big of a deal. not attacking. That's weird. And potentially scary as hell. I'm going to stay back. Dark healing! Rawr. Okay. Somebody's getting attacked. Regular attack. I would have preferred the bubbling ooze because I wouldn't take as much damage. <sighs> I can boost. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Boosting frontline is probably a good plan. Jaha leveled up to 34. Ridiculous is what it is. Now, and then I'm gonna have people go in front of him. Because Gerhalt's gonna die otherwise. Gerhalt, three hit points, two MP. Oh, Gerhalt, you're getting so much better as a sorcerer. So much better. Four, HP two, attack one, defense three, agility one. Oh, these characters are getting so much better now that they're promoted. Uh, you're still weak, although you can heal. Gerhalt. I mean, Gerhalt still needs more healing, but that helps. They're movement six, right? Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, they can hit there. Drat. I'm gonna say still then. That one I can do. Yep, I'm kind of afraid of that, but I can't do much about it. I'd actually survive a second attack, I'm surprised. This is what I mean by it's so much nicer to have good ranged attacks. Ah, oh, so much nicer. Snip. Oh, you don't do enough damage. Heal up Gerhalt the rest of the way, I guess.
Yep, you're gonna go after Kazin. Which, ow. I need to kill that rat before it gets to go again. Or at the very least, trap it. It's probably gonna die because there's a ninja in front of it. Yeah. Nice. I'm getting more unbalanced on things, but I really want to see what Gerhalt is like at good levels. He still only has one spell at level one and nothing else. I have no idea what other spells he's going to get. That'd be weird if that was it, but I don't think it is. Die. Level 26, HP 2, attack 1, defense 1, agility 1. Heal up my snip. Snip, snip, suckers. In theory, Kazin should be able to... No, there's no ooze left, so probably can't survive much of anything. Alright, who's even injured at this point? Sarah's injured. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'm just gonna heal Sarah. Thump. Jahi. Mm. Willard's taking double moves, as expected. I can move my Bow Knight down here. Move my Snip back a bit, because he's a bit injured. Yes! Took the bait. Good. Uh, still got damage for 18. Even with bait. Damn, she does a lot of damage now. So, I don't think Willard can one-shot me. But Willard does get two actions. So, I will go ahead and save state here. This might be a terrible plan. You're going to boost some folk. Six of one, half dozen the other. Oh, Elric already was boosted. I would have realized that. Um, how far can Willard go? Willard is also six? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, this is fine. <clears throat> Step. Death did. 49 XP. Nice. Okay. Sarah can use a little bit of healing. Ooh. Elric. Oh, Jaha needs healing. take this hit? No! No, I can't! Wow! Alright. You're going over here now. You're going back. I didn't realize I was that bad off. Oof. Stabbings. means I actually am going to care about healing up Sarah because that's probably pretty close to how much damage she can take. Sarah's got a defense bonus from sitting on terrain, unlike my flyer, but yeah, getting one-shotted. This is a real possibility. Do-do-do-do-do. 
you're gonna hide down here because I need the space to expand because I'm gonna have everybody attack. I just need to pull out Bait. Bait's name is Jaha, by the way. Oh, I should have used healing. Oh well. Just seed yourself. That's full heal. Okay. Yours is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the line. So here is fine. Now you've moved back. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is now the line. Jaha in range and nobody else. Uh, I should have had Jaha boost himself. Is there anybody even injured? I mean, significantly. Uh, yeah, I guess Kazin counts as being injured, but I can't reach Kazin without using heal 3 and it's not worth it. Alright, this is my best shot at taking a hit. 26 damage. Nin, nin! Ninja slice! Slice! Dang! Yeah, you should level up from that. So much defense coming her way, holy crap! Okay. Oh, well, never mind. I was about to say, I'm going to try to set it up where one of the lower level ones can defeat Willard, but nope. May is not letting that happen. HP 2, attack 1. Good. Huh. That was an easier battle than I was expecting, outside of the getting one-shotted part. Grumble. It's Crazy Cat Hour, apparently. I see a big bushy tail on Zone Kitty. <laughs> Just, you know, stored poker chips for some reason. That's the way up. Just checking for secret things. I don't remember anymore. Nope, nothing. Okay. Yep. Goliath! 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 I'm here, I'm coming! Yes, Mr. Creep? My collection's rather noisy. I'm oh, sorry. Pet collection's rather noisy today. Oh, yes. Uh, what? Uh, no, no, I, I added to your collection today. You did what? I'm sorry. I tried to stop them, but they jumped through the magic door. 
You didn't lock the door, did you? I told you to always lock that door. Anyway, I want to see them. Oh yeah, I forgot. This episode's definitely already getting titled. I already know what the title is. I gotta use all of the horrible, horrible translations, right? What? Uh. I heard something. Are you Mr. Creed? Excuse me. Mr. Creed? Oh, someone from my collection is talking. You must be one of the people Goliath was talking about. We came to see you. Please return us to our original size. <coughs> you came to see me? Hmm. Why? Make us... Make us bigger. My head's hurting from looking up at you. Braddy Peter. Mm. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Abracadabra, one, two, three! I wonder what the Japanese version of that was. <laughs> well, we're back to normal. I can't believe we were so small. Mm -hmm. Now, why did you come to see me? Oh, yes, we want to know about Xeon. Xeon? Remember Fairy? You said Xeon? The King of Devils, who is sealed in Ark Valley. Did something happen to Xeon? Has he revived? Yeah. Bowie nods. No, hey, you're kidding. I can't believe it. Noisy fairy, be quiet. Is what you say true? So, Xeon will appear again. He will destroy everything. Sir, the new additions to your collection are missing! I know. They're right there. Yeah. Doesn't matter! Go no away! Wow, I can't believe this is happening. You know, Grand's Island is covered by a dark cloud. At the same time, North Parmesia has had no rain. It's the first time that we get to hear about North Parmesia. South Parmesia is okay, but... That's because of Vulcanon. I fear for Metula. So now we get mention of... I think Vulcanon had mentioned Metula before, but we get mention of another goddess. Vulcanon and Metula are invulnerable to everything except Xeon. Indeed, Xeon is extremely powerful. Xeon? Oh, gosh. I'm gonna back up. What are you still doing here, Goliath? I have no time to scold you now. Evil spirit may know something. You guys follow him. Ark Valley was unsealed and Xeon woke up? This is a nightmare. See, there's the chessboard. Time to check out some books. There's a lot of books here. A book, Gods vs. Devils. A book, Basic Rules of Possession. A book, Today's Magic. A book, Study of Runes, Call of Evil, Vampires, which there are no vampires in this game, oddly enough, Newt Cooking, Demon Kings, ah, dang it, Magical Changes, and Evil Contact. Yep, yeah, because this area doesn't look ominous as, ominous as hell. We investigated the door. It's locked. Yep. Basement filled with lava. And impossible structures and... Just, I want a basement like this. I'm sorry. Yeed Queen Delora Zenura. Hear my voice. Evil spirit. Come. Yeah, that's Evil Spirit. Looks kind of creepy. Evil Spirit's appearing! Thanks, Captain Obvious Fairy.
Ah. Uh, Creed, what do you want? Zeon. Zeon! The King of the Devils! Yes. He was unsealed. What is he doing now? What is he going to do? I need to know anything about him. Anything. I've got something. <laughs> what is he doing? He's channeling his mind into the nature of all things. Yeah, so Creed's kind of a big deal, by the way. Shh, be silent. He's got something. What did you find? The barrier around Grand's Island is too strong. I can't see anything. Please try... Sorry. Please try again. If I touch something of his, maybe I can contact his mind better. Bowie, you have the Jewel of Evil, right? Is it true, Bowie? That's one of the... Oh, I keep I'm terrible at keeping consistent voices. That's one of the magic jewels used to seal Zeon. Give it to me. But we can't remove it. I can. Let me see it. <laughs> What's that light? There are two? The other one is, uh, they called it the Jewel of Light. What? Bowie, do you have both of the legendary jewels? I can't remove them. The chain is made of mithril. Show them to him. They might be able to help him. They might help him. Bowie displays the jewels to the evil spirit. Yeah, I feel it. Feel it? I think I can do it now. Let me try again. A color palette is training. Arc Valley was opened and Xeon was revived. <coughs> Go on. Zeon's devils are coming from to Parmesia from the sky. Hmm. Where are they heading? North Parmesia. Parmesia. Something has happened to Metula. I can't see Zeon. What do you mean? He's still in Ark Valley. He has revived, but he hasn't. He has not recovered his full strength yet. But he has already created a lot of mischief on the ground. Is he that powerful? He is. His power. What? His his power? What? His power. I am Zeon, the king of the devils! What's this? Who's contacting me? Do you want to delay? <laughs> Sorry. Again, the voices are really hard on my throat. I see a jewel, a jewel of evil. He's seeing us through the eyes of evil spirit. Impossible! You are Bowie, I see you. Listen, Bowie, bring that jewel to Ark Valley. Why should we? I'll return Ellis to you in exchange for the jewel. Come to Ark Valley. <laughs> Massive explosion! Duh. No, evil spirit exploded! That's Zeon's power. If he revives fully, this power his power will be unimaginably strong. Creed, how reliable was he? I mean, evil spirit. Very. Why does Zeon want the jewel? No more questions. Without evil spirit. <sighs> Creed? Creed! Hey, don't leave me here! Wait for me! Lots of plot this video. That's why I was expecting it to take the full hour. And it looks like it probably will. Maybe the Jewel of Evil has a secret. 
Storytellers in Tristan might know more. Tristan is in North Parmesia. Oh, is a dwarf sick? Really? Okay, I think I can help him. Bring him to me. But he decides to take the fairy with him. Interesting. So one of my patches must have fixed it. So in Normal Shining Force 2, English version, it's instead of an evil spirit, it's evil spillet. Because they messed up both. Not just the standard R to L type of thing, but also they type of it. My master would like to help you, Bowie. Please, choose one. This is the point that I'm going to save state, because... Alright. I'm Eric and Knight. I was looking for a magic sword. I would do anything for Mr. Creed. Please, choose me. Eric the Archer. No, I do not need another freaking archer. I don't care. Although I am going to check his stats. Just, no, I don't need another archer. Alright. Putting it down here. Eric. In CHR. 24.0. He has 36 hit points. 0 MP, 47 attack, 24 defense, and 28 agility. How does that compare to the other archers? He's worse than the other archers. Cool. This is why we save state. So, no, I will not, in fact, be taking Eric. Now watch, he actually has magic on promotion or something. <laughs> I'm not only a dwarf, I'm Randolph. I'm known as the strongest warrior of my people. Yep, you certainly are. Randolph the Wolfman. Hmm. Interesting option. So, usually Gerhalt's the Wolfman. That's the reason why he looks so wolfy now that he's been promoted. So, Randolph the Wolfman, who already has an attack of an airwork. Uh, it may end up being Randolph. Okay, typing this one in. Twenty-four. 38 hit points, 0 MP, 55 attack, 37 defense, which is actually higher than my party as well. Uh, yep, yeah, that's much higher than my party. There's a good chance I'm going to take the Wolfman. But I need to see the others. Load state. I'm Tyrin the Mage. I studied magic in Pompeii. I'll miss my friends, but if I could be of help, I'll go with you. Sure. Tyrin the Archer... Red. <laughs> Seriously, how freaking many archers are there in this game? Okay, um, let's get his stats. Seriously, Rack. Seriously. Thirty-six. Zero. Forty-six. He's definitely an attack-based archer. 29 defense? Actually, no, he's a defense-based archer. 28. Okay. No, I'm not taking an archer. I'm sorry, Rack. Just no. I'm Karna, a priest. I think I'm rather young for my profession. I don't want to stay in this awful place forever. Choose me! Okay. Karna the Birdman. Hmm. That would be an interesting option, too. I'm thinking I'm going to go with the wolf. So, uh, Karna, level 24, with 43 hit points, 44 attack, 27 defense, 32 agility. How does that compare to Bowie? Uh, the attack's going to be off because Bowie has a better weapon. 40, 24, 37. 
So Bowie is definitely an agility archer. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> Bowie has had five more agility at that level. So I'm just going to bolt that. Um, <sighs> Karna, on the other hand, appears to be a hit point bird man. Ugh. I'm going to pause this for a moment because I need to use the restroom. Be back. All right, now that I don't need to do a potty dance, let's continue. Um, so yes, I will save state, load state. I'm going to take Randolph. Because so I can definitely use a Wolfman. I need more <sighs> tanks. And that's the first tank that I'm going to get. But you'll notice that I'm not going to... Adler, I understand you. Understand what? Adler will remain here. Won't you, Adler? Adler, is this true? I don't know why, but I would like to stay. No, I must stay here. I must stay here. He's weak. He'd had better stay. Say farewell. It was great traveling with you, Bowie. Thank you. Please be careful. Bowie, you'll learn the reason why he has to stay here soon enough. Don't think about it now. Go to the north. All right. And we begin the part three of the game, North Parmesia. So this game is basically split up into four parts. Told you I knew where it was. I must have looked like here and here by accident. Anyway, so yeah, the game is split up into three parts. All the way back to Hassan. Okay. Not where I intended to go, but sure. I need the fairy to tend to the sick dwarf. It's a bit of, it's a, the longest soap quest of any game that I've seen in a long time. We were asked about this a very long time ago. Where is the sick dwarf? Oh, thank goodness. I'm sure glad to see you. Here, please, examine him. Oh, I hope I'm not too late. Okay, let's see. How is he? I don't know yet. Oh. What? Hey, are you okay? I'm okay. I'm fine. Great! Caffeine! <laughs> oh, how can we thank you? Don't need anything. But why don't you help Bowie? Bowie, I'm going now. I hope your journey is safe and uneventful. Bye! And that's the last that we see Fairy. That fairy, at least. However, uh, the voice still gets stuck. Thanks to you, he recovered. We all thank you. Take this gift. Oh, your hands are full. I'll give it to you later. What are my hands full of? I'll give the angel wing to somebody else. Luke. Thanks to you, he recovered. We all thank you. Take this gift. Bowie is given a cannon. Just here, have a freaking cannon. We used to destroy large rocks. Remember way back, probably not because it was from the previous recording, but the whole reason why we couldn't go to North Parmesia is because there was a rock slide that blocked the entrance to North Parmesia. 
Now we can get there, potentially. And now all the dwarves are digging their way to Grands. We can no longer talk to them. I already got the dry stone. And that means now we're heading back to New Grand Seal. And to get our last character. Or I should say our last unpromoted character. Because this is going to be the last time that we have a regular character join us. Everybody else will already be promoted. How have you been, Bowie? Oh, you look strong. Oh. oh well, throw something in. Nothing. Welcome back, Bowie. I know you're going away again soon. But see, the church finally has a building. It's really tiny. So, the reason why I haven't done another save state is that I may end up having to undo what Randolph is, because I don't know what this other character is going to be. It's also the reason why I'm doing this all in one video. Although, I'm actually still below an hour, so I'm okay. I'm not allowed to go out because it's so dangerous. I've grown up so quickly. So I think Bowie at this point will have been gone for like five years. So Bowie at longer. So Bowie at the start of the game was 12, I think. It was like 12, 13, 14, somewhere in there. And now Bowie is 22-ish, I think. You're back, darling. Oh, leaving again. Remember, she was supposed to marry you. I have a large stock because I heard about the war. By now. There's mom. You brought so many friends this time. You're loved by everyone, my son. Welcome, Miss Bowie. Heard your journey was hard. Sir Ashtel was right. He said you were coming. He said you were coming back soon. I'll go to the castle and tell everyone. No, no, please don't. Okay. Anything exciting? War against the devils? No, no, I don't want to go. Hey, it's a nice house, isn't it? Weapon smiths over here, and I think we've got new weapons now. I've been watching the northern sky. Something big fall from the sky to the north. Sir Ashtol forbids me to use the dynamite. I need his permission to give it to you. So we have a cannon, but nothing to shoot with. That's what the dynamite's for. Let's, boy, we guarantee all items will be in good condition. Yep, we've got upgrades. We've got the buster sword. Cloud is going to be very upset with us. But that's okay. Oh. I'll do that one in a bit. Uh, it's still Robin Arrow. Oh, no, I see the upgrade for it now. Salt Shell. So, yeah, the Robin Arrow, I think, is actually the last arrow in the game. Time for me to spend all my money. Although I actually don't have as much as I thought. I might actually have to sell some things. Just because I have so damn many archers. Uh, Guardian Staff. And sell. Well... I don't even know why I bother getting, like, um weapons on whatchamacallit um my mages I don't ever attack and when I do it's for one damage anyway oh no yeah I'm kind of poor at the moment because I keep dying And 
now back to the Buster Sword. Yeah, so basically, depending on what this other character is, I may end up going back and grabbing, say, the Birdman instead. The reason why I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, so, so basically if I get another tank, I'm going to compare the tanks. Your pass, please. Oh, of course you don't have to show one, Bowie. Go ahead. Hello, Bowie. King's waiting. Yeah, good for the king. I don't think there's anything over here yet, now. Throne room's the same as it was before. You'll be surprised to see the results of my practice. Bowie, go see Sir Astral. Oh, the king looks so sad. Oh, I accidentally triggered plot. Welcome back, Bowie. Thanks to you, Grenzeal has many allies to trade with. I've also made a lot of new friends. Great job! I've heard everything from Beto. Never imagined Zeon could be revived. I understand that Vulcanon is angry. So Princess Alice must be... She's alive. What? <laughs> What did you say? Is she, is she alive? Y yes. <coughs> is it true? Is it true? So many voices. Yes, it is. Flashback. Oh. Bowie and Peter explain in detail. <laughs> About the ancient ruins, Creed, and Zeon's message through... There's the evil spill it. Ah, evil spill it. Zeon's message through evil spill it. That is it going to be message through evil sp Zeon's message through evil spill it. They explain everything. Amazing. Chloe and Peter. You've experienced a great deal. Hmm. hmm. Sir Astral. What should we do now? Easy. We have to defeat Zeon and go save Ellis. Impossible. The king's right. What? Astral, thank you. What do we have to do first? We have to go to the North Paramecia. We'd better go and see the storytellers in Tristan. Sir? Astral winks at the minister and smiles. It's an important job. Will you allow me to go with Bowie? Remember, Astral was tr trying to get to go with Bowie before and couldn't because the king was too depressed and wanted to, him to focus on trying to get his daughter back. Sure, sure, just bring Ellis back to me. I don't care what you do at this point. Be careful, Astral. It's dangerous out there. Oh, I will. Bowie, I'm going with you as an advisor. Advisor Astral has joined the force. Notice the lack of capitalization. He is unfortunately not playable. It's very unfortunate. I really wish I could play as Astral. We have to remove the rocks blocking the passageway leading to North Parmesia. Maybe we can use an explosive. And yep, we have Astral with us for the entire rest of the game. How long should I keep guard here anyway? To Grand's Island? But I like Parmesia now. Tactical base. Why don't you talk to your friends, Bowie? Don't mind if I do. Hey, are you crazy? Put me in battle! So these are the people that are in battle. Bowie, take it easy. I even know what they're going to say. That's the sad part. Although, Bowie, do you think I'm a snob? I heard a rumor about me. I've never actually seen Peter outside, just because that's very unlikely, because Peter's a... Flying God of Death in normal Shining Force 2. And this is the party. With two identical icons for Ninja. Like a shadow of light. Silent of death. Speaking tires me. Fighting tires me. I'm tired. I'm a centaur, but I could use bow and arrows. Yep, that's actually still accurate. Those people who are truly strong, like me, don't need weapons. That's because you're a mage. Enemies from the sky to are mine. My arrows will get to them. Yep. These centaurs are the main fighters in a battle. We're awesome! You're not a centaur anymore. 
I love swooping in for the kill. You are a ninja after all. Just going into battle. Of course you do. Remember, you're our leader. We lose when you're where you are defeated, okay? Stand at attention! Ready for inspection, sir! Sir Howell's teachings are very helpful. Strategy was his cup of tea. You're a sniper. Why? Anyway. Alright. Time to go get the last character and then we're stopping. Because all we have to do is attempt to leave. I think we might actually have to go get the dynamite first, but we'll find out. Go get the dynamite and get the last character. Oh, that cannon would be perfect. So Rashel said it was okay. Here's the explosive. Chester received the dynamite. So we have to carry both of them with us for a little bit. I mean, I can shove them in the uh, caravan, but... Before anything else... I finally found you. You're Bowie, right? Who are you? I love, I mean, Elric is with you, am I right? Yes, he joined us willingly. No, 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 I don't want to stop him, but I want to be with him. I want to be with him. Please take me with you, please. This is not a sightseeing trip, if you know what I mean. Yes, I know, I still want to go. All right, you look tough enough, tough enough anyway. Really? Thank you very much! Janet the Warrior. I do have another tank. Ah. That's gonna make things interesting. Um. Okay. Janet the Warrior. Typing it up. And what are your stats like? 40 hit points, 0, 40 attack, 36 defense, 26 agility. So Janet is actually still below Randolph in terms of defense, which is interesting. Definitely below Randolph in terms of attack, but that's fairly normal. But has two extra hit points. I think I don't know. Why is there a wooden arrow equipped? Well, that would certainly explain some problem. She should have an axe. Uh, let me go grab that really fast. I know I'm running late, but I want to grab the axe so I know what her actual attack is so I can compare it with the rest of these goobers. Explains why her attack is so low. I mean, warriors aren't necessarily the highest attack units in the game or anything. They're just the highest defense, usually. But her defense is lower than Randolph, which means I think Randolph might actually be a def... Oh. God damn it! I'm going to do this another time. So I have to walk all the way around. Nope, actually, I teleported back here. I lied. Okay, let's get a normal axe on on her. 50 attack, okay. I know it's a little bit of a waste because I'm, um, which we call it, probably just going to immediately sell it when I promote her, but still. Okay, I will think about things and get back to you all later. Hope you've enjoyed this internet. That was the last of our unpromoted characters. We now have our entire force. Talk to you next time. Bye!